Hey, what's good YouTube? Nate with Master Collector, back with another video. Um, so as you know, I'm really into Master of the Universe figures and toys and everything. Um, I've been a fan since I was a kid in the early 80s. And I kind of got back into it in the mid 2000s or so, or 2008 I think it was, when Maddie Collector started dropping the Classics line, which is basically an adult you know, collector type of uh, line that Mattel came out with and, you know, MaddieCollector.com. So I was, really got into it then again and then just kind of kept collecting all the figures as they came out with more, the Club Grayskull lines, the Filmation lines, and then Super 7 had it, and then Super 7 lost the license, I think, you know, last year, or the year before. So then Mattel kind of grabbed it back up again. And from what I can tell, Mattel Creations is kind of like the next Maddie Collector type of uh, direct-to-consumer uh, website here with memberships and things like that. So not only do they have Master of the Universe memberships, they also have Barbie, Hot Wheels, and some other stuff in there too if you want to check it out. It's uh, MattelCreations.com, I believe. So here's their website. And uh, they recently had a drop. Um right after PowerCon ended. So on Monday, the September 13th at 11 a.m. Central Time, they dropped some figures. And what they dropped were um, Sunman. They dropped this new Triclops, which is from the comic, the original comic book, colors and everything. And then they also dropped Faker and his cat copycat or whatever it's called. Um, and then this Horde pack, which was four figures, Grizzlor, two Horde troopers, and then Hordak in the filmation colors. And then they also dropped the uh, Power or Secrets of Grayskull um, accessory kit. And we're going to take a look at those figures right now because um, I was able to get on here and get everything. Um, which was I was pretty lucky to actually get. So uh, first things, we'll, let's just go through Sun Man just because he's on top here, and we'll see here. Learn more. We'll just click on here. Now these are all sold out now. Um, they limited two per user or account, and so Sun Man, there are thirty bucks a piece, and he's actually kind of rad. Um, I'm not familiar with the Sun Man. Um, figure that much at all, but uh, let's just see here. So, longtime fans and new followers will love the retro feel of the Masters of the Universe Origin Sun Man action figure that celebrates the original rulers of the Sun toy line with updated looks. Sun Man wears his VUM armor and comes with swappable head and hands. So, here's he's got one hand, here's his head, um, he's got his wings thing, he's got a shield, here's his sun blast that goes on his weapon from what it looks like right here um, but he's a pretty cool looking figure um, the the wing thing is kind of it's just odd you know when I when I look at it I think if it would have been but I, I don't know I, I'm not a you know historian of Sun Man so I maybe that's just the way it is um, so let's see here head and hands you got multiple accessories and 16 points for articulation for epic storytelling and displays uh, for collectors and fans who treasure the Rulers of the Sun legacy and its expert revitalization, this Master of the Universe Origin Sun Man figure is a must-have. So you get his wings, shield, sword, and special flame effect. He's five and a half inches tall, and he's packaged in a premium box. So here's his box. Um, looks like you get the comic right inside the box as you open it up. Here is the on-card look to it. And here's the mailer box that comes with it too. Which is pretty cool that they actually put diagrams on this instead of just having a, a regular mailer box like we've seen from Super 7 recently um, in the past where it just has the name of the character on it type of thing and the code names. But um, here's some more pictures kind of go through him here a little bit. Uh, he's a pretty cool looking guy. Um, so I picked picked one up. 
and and you'll see I'll put over here here's what they're selling for on eBay right now which is borderline ridiculous that people are paying this much for this figure so as you can see it's it's um it's amazing what people are paying for this stuff right now just so they could have it and I mean this stuff sold out in like two or three minutes I was lucky enough to get everything and I think the reason why I did is I already had an account with these guys Mattel Creations I've already ordered something off of there which was the Shepard Fairley um, Uno artist drop so I had that so I already had my payment information in there and shipping and everything so all I had to do was add stuff to the cart and check out so I didn't have to enter in any information so that's Sun Man and then We'll head over here again. So, so Sun Man looks really rad. Um, here is Triclops. So this one I am really, really excited for, and you will see why here in a second. Um, so this is uh, the Origins fan choice. So they had a, a vote which figure you would like to see next and come out in Origins fan fan choice vote, and it was a Triclops um, from the comic. The original comic series so we'll take a look at this picture right here so as you can see from the from the picture you can see the the light green accents or the light green uh, colors red the red boots and everything so they're really trying to get that they got the sword down you know silver sword with the, with the yellow hilt on it but we get a Warrior's Ring is what they're calling it now. Um, I, I thought it was always called like the Power Ring or whatever, but so Mattel asks Master of the Universe fans to choose the next Origins action figure, and the winner is Skeletor's Evil Minion Triclops. This exciting addition to their Origins line features authentic styling from the original Master of the Universe action figure with updated details. The Cli Triclops figure also includes a 17 page first edition Master of the Universe comic book and a collectible glow-in-the-dark ring. So we get the figure, 16 arc articulation joints, uh, you get the battle sword, you get an adult sized collector ring which is so cool. Uh, the comic book and the sword, so he's five and a half inches tall, you get the retro style packaging which we'll take a look at. So here's his on card But yeah, so Glow in the Dark Warriors Ring. I'm so pumped for that, I can't even tell you. Um, I just remember having one when I was a kid when I opened up Trap Jaw. And then here's his mailer box. So it says Fan Bolt Winner. Got a nice diagram on it. And here is the other side, which is the picture of the comic, which is pretty cool. So the Terror of Triclops, which is definitely the comic, the old school comic. As you can see here so that's really really neat um, we'll take some closer looks here but they did a great job with this figure um, I love the 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 colors on him the red and green complementary colors and then the orange asks accents here the sword looks great um, he's got his spot for his uh, to put a sword in up here like we do on the, the current origins figure it was just on the other side Uh, the paint goes all the way around his wrist bracers, which is nice. Uh, it's really cool. The one thing that I wasn't really so much pleased with on Mattel Creations site was that they were li limiting people to order five of these. Now. With these limited releases, they should just say one and done, right? Just so everybody has a chance to get them because take a look at the prices right now for this guy. This is unbelievable that people are, I guess not so much, you know, it's not the, the fault of the seller that people are paying this because it's definitely a FOMO, the fear of missing out type of thing happening right now. Um, but I can see why people want to sell these things. I mean, you buy it for 17 and you can sell it for 150. Why wouldn't you sell it? So I think the 
the people that missed out on this are really hurting themselves by just bidding these things up until it just gets astronomical and people just can't, you know, can't even afford it. Even if you didn't, even if you wanted to buy it, you know, are you going to pay $100, $150 for a figure that was $17 and then you got somebody that's holding five of these? I mean, they're paying for their whole damn line that they bought on this on this drop, basically. So that's Triclops. I'm really pumped to get that ring. I can't tell you how excited I am for that. All right, so here comes the Horde pack. And the Horde pack was $150, and there was there's four figures in each each pack. So you get Hordak in the Filmation colors, you get Grizzlor, which is the first drop of the Origins line for Grizzlor, and then also two Horde Troopers, one in red, one in black. So Hordak is back and he's brought the evil Horde with him to destroy Eternia. The set of four authentic Masters of the Universe characters includes a blue Hordak with blaster arm, Grizzlor, the Horde's hairy henchman with flock fur, and two Horde Troopers armed for battle. These exciting battle figures are expertly designed with vintage sculpts that honor the first appearance of these iconic Motu characters, and all four are exclusive to this set. It's an extraordinary must-have that Master of the Universe fans will treasure. So vintage design and sculpts, highly, highly articulated with 16 working joints for power posing. Uh, you get Blue Hordak with Blaster Arm, Grizzler with Flock Fur, and two Horde Troopers. They're five and a half inches tall and the collector packaging with diorama insets for maximum displayability. So here are the figures, they look great. Um, I'm gonna be 100%. So it looks like he's got a silver kind of color around his, his head here, which is really neat. Um, Grizzler. Just looks so rad. Um, I basically just bought the pack for that guy. So when I was able to secure this one, um, I, I canceled my pre-order for this set, which was the only one that I had on pre-order at Big Bad Toy Store. So I think somebody actually saw my comment on the uh, Master of the Universe Origins line fan page on Facebook. And they were able, able to go in and snag that up. So I'm happy that somebody was able to get it. Um, it was quite a bit more expensive on the big bad toy store website. I think it was $220 or $230 versus $150. So that's why I, uh, I canceled it. Um, these look really cool, by the way, these horror troopers. Pretty sick. picture behind them got like translucent uh, green bow it looks like and then a silver one but you get a red bow you get a green bow or crossbow uh, silver one you get a couple of these clubs or maces uh, one axe I think comes with Grizzlor um, actually get an extra hand that looks like for Grizzler. Uh, Hordak comes with another face where he's smiling. So really cool pack here. And then here's the mailer box. And it'll have, you know, a little description of each one. Evil stealth soldier of Hordak. Evil Fright Guard of Hordak, so the red one, the black one, Grizzler, Harry Henchman of the Evil Horde, and Ruthless Leader of the Evil Horde, Hordak. Now, when you take this out of the box, it even looks cooler because it's got this big diorama type of box, and I'll throw up a picture right now of that so we can take a look at it. And uh, they really made this thing to be not tampered with it seems like it's almost like they just want you to keep these things in the box but um, take a look at those pictures it's pretty neat 
they really did a good job at um, making it somewhat, you know, the pricing, you know, should we be paying 35 bucks a figure for this stuff? I don't know, maybe, maybe not, but I think a lot of it has to do with the packaging as far as the pricing goes on this stuff here. So that is the Horde Pack. And then the last one, so we did the Triclops, here's the Horde Pack, or the PowerCon exclusives. And here is Faker. Now, we'll take a look at Faker. He's the real deal. Faker and Duplicat. I get it. Ready to trick the good guys into letting their guards down. PowerCon exclusive origin set comes with complete with their orange armor and weapons. Including his own Havoc staff and power sword. Alright, so he came out. Um, he was 60 bucks. Uh, you can actually get two of everything on here. But Faker was $60. Um, he looks awesome. So he's Faker, the evil blue skin robot replica of He-Man, and he's paired up with an equally nefarious imposter, Duplicat. Giant Tiger and crafty impersonator of Battle Cat. Masters of the Universe collectors will want to be the first to own these two villainous action figures together in a one-of-a-kind set. Faker is outfitted in battle gear and carries his Havoc staff and sword. And Duplicat, a brand new character for 2021, looks ferocious in full combat armor, including cybernetic claws. Duplicat has 12 movable joints, including legs, head, neck, and jaw. Um, the Faker figure has 16 working joints, like the, all the other figures. Um, you get Faker's sword and Havoc staff. Duplicat comes in combat armor with claws. Faker is five and a half inches tall, and Duplicat is six and three quarter inches tall, and almost 12 inches long. So he's 11 and three quarter inches long. And I mean, the, the colors on these things are, are really cool. It's almost like um, Duplicat's head, like the paint got scraped off his face or something, the way that it's all shiny and metal, metallic looking. And these claws are just really rad. Oh, sweet. So you can take the claws off Duplicat which is kind of a nice feature. Um, he does not have a like a face mask like Battle Cat does. He just has the, the body armor with the saddle on it. And then here is, oops. Um, Faker, that he does have the painted on like robot um, diagram on his chest like the uh, the origins figure that we all the retail release but in the retail release you didn't get a Havoc store sword or staff Havoc staff you just got the sword the power sword and here's the packaging pretty neat diagram there Looks like flying fist or hurricane he man with the spinning thing there. So a little foreshadowing there, I'm sure that figure is coming out. I mean it looks like they're coming out with the whole redoing the whole line, so I don't think we have to worry about not getting anything. Uh, you can see by the prices here that it's just ridiculous. I mean some of them are showing up to five hundred dollars for a sale on this stuff. And again, I'll just say it, there's no wonder why people are selling these things. If, if you can get $500 or 350 or whatever the case may be, $200 even, for these figures, why wouldn't you sell them? And it's not the sellers that are greedy, it's the people that are paying for it are willing to pay that kind of money for it. All right, and the last one, which is my favorite one, is the new dimension of Castle Grayskull. So, 
So the designers took the original decal stickers from the OG Grey Skull and thought, what if our figures could interact with them? So they brought to life three of the castle's best decorations, the dungeon monster, the robot sparring partner, and the spirit of Grey Skull. All of these additions fit perfectly in your Origins Castle Grey Skull to help He-Man and his friends keep the power safe behind his coveted walls. So here's the spirit of Castle Grey Skull up here. It's translucent green. I, I don't know if it glows in the dark. I don't think so. Um, here is the sparring partner robot, which was a fake, you know, a sticker in the original or a cardboard cardboard cutout in the original Castle Grey Skull, I believe. Um, and here is the monster sticker at the bottom. You can actually, it's got a slit here that you can slide it into. Um, your Origins Castle Grey Skull, so it doesn't just sit on top. You can actually slide it in there, so it fits in there somewhat securely. Okay, so these are 30 bucks a pack, and here's that slit I was talking about. So this slides right into the under the floor. There's a little spot there you can slide this underneath, which will have it sit in there, so it looks like it's it's built in better, not just sitting on top of it. Um, Spirit of Grey Skull. It's got you know it's a skull. Looks like you know. A mist or smoke or whatever you want to call it and here's our robot which I think is the, the, the real reason why people want this pack I mean I, this stuff is awesome but the robot is the main draw here I think the gate comes up which is really cool the robot looks amazing all the stuff looks this is a really cool add-on set I'm sorry for anybody that wasn't able to get it um, look at that, you can even wrap the thing around the figure. There's a really good picture of the Spirit of Grey Skull there. Really, really cool. And here's the back side view. They didn't really spare any details here. They got it nailed down pretty well. Really nice paint job. Hopefully it comes like this and not all jacked up. But generally on these PowerCon exclusives, they come in pretty good condition. So let's see, we got the um, Master of the Universe Origins Mystery of Mysteries of Grey Skull accessory pack includes exciting story elements that will thrill all Motu fans. This truly original set includes a Spirit of Grey Skull, a posable dungeon monster, and a fully articulated training android. The entire set comes packed in a treasure chest, a must-have for collectors. So I'll put up a picture of the packaging as well for this. It's not on on the site. Um, so you get the Master of the Universe, Origins, Mysteries of Castle Grayskull set, um, designed to stay true to the traditions of the Master of the Universe. Dungeon Monster and Spirit of Grayskull can attach to the Origins Castle Grayskull playset. Um, the Android is five and a half inches tall, packaged as the collector's treasure set, and um, this is an expertly crafted Motu set that's great for play and display. Colors and decorations may vary. So, and you can see what these are selling for too. So this was thirty bucks each, and you can see there's prices up to you know well above a hundred dollars that people are paying for this right now. But I wanted to go through these. I thought they were really neat. Um, kind of give you guys a better view of the stuff. I mean, I know you guys can go check it out. On, their, on this website, and maybe some of you didn't weren't aware of this web, of this website, Mattel Creations, where they're dropping these Masters of the Universe um, limited figures. Um, they are coming out with a membership for Masters of the Universe. Um, right now, they have the Hot Wheels one, which looks pretty rad. I mean, they dropped a, a Jeep Willy on here that looked pretty cool. Um, Barbie, they have that, and I do know that they're coming out with more great brands. So not only Hot Wheels, a Redline Club, but also Matchbox Collectors, 
Monster High collectors. They, Monster High, they dropped a uh, Beetlejuice and and the daughter from Beetlejuice. They did that just recently. And then the Master of the Universe collectors. Definitely, I'm gonna get a membership to that when it gets when it comes back because you get you know um, priority access to sales, exclusive items. You know, you'll be notified of of everything well ahead of time. So I think that's really great. So. Um, I would definitely check out this website and sign up, at least get the notifications on uh, email, things like that, just so that you're aware. And hopefully this uh, video, video helped you guys out, um, at least take a look at the figures. So appreciate you guys checking it out with me. Um, again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so, that would be awesome. And then also get, leave a comment, what do you guys think about everything that they dropped? Let me know which was your favorite and have a good discussion here about these guys and you can also vent about Mattel's um, limited release here and a lot of people missed out on it and also uh, hit that bell uh, for notifications and then when I drop new videos you'll be notified and we'll see you in the next video later